Welcome to our channel, DMV Permit Practice Test. Visit our website for free road signs cheat sheet and additional resources to help you prepare and easily pass your DMV permit test. Now let's begin. Question 1. You should not start across an intersection if you know you will block the intersection when the light turns red. Option A. Under any circumstances. Option B. Unless you enter the intersection on a yellow light. Option C. Unless you enter the intersection on a green light. The correct answer is Option A. Under any circumstances. Question 2. You want to pass a bicyclist riding on the right edge of your lane. You. Option A. Must honk your horn before passing the bicyclist. Option B. Must not squeeze past the bicyclist. Option C. May not pass the bicyclist for any reason. The correct answer is Option B. Must not squeeze past the bicyclist. Question 3. A police officer is signaling you to continue driving through a red traffic light. What should you do? Option A. Stop first. Then do what the officer tells you. Option B. Wait for the green light. Option C. Do as the officer tells you. The correct answer is. Option C. Do as the officer tells you. Question 4. Which of these statements about drugs and driving is true? Option A. Any prescription drug is safe to use if you don't feel drowsy. Option B. Even over-the-counter drugs can impair your driving. Option C. Only illegal drugs can impair your driving. The correct answer is Option B. Even over-the-counter drugs can impair your driving. Question 5. You must use your seatbelt. Option A. Unless you are riding in a vehicle built before 1978. Option B. Unless you are riding in a limousine. Option C. If the vehicle is equipped with seatbelts. The correct answer is Option C. If the vehicle is equipped with seat belts. Question 6. What is the difference between traffic lights with red arrows and those with solid red lights? Option A. Red arrows are only used to stop traffic which is turning left. Option B. Red arrows are only used for protected turn lanes. Option C. You cannot turn on a red arrow, even if you stop first. The correct answer is Option C. You cannot turn on a red arrow, even if you stop first. Question 7. Which of these statements is true about road construction zones? Option A. Fines are the same for violations committed in construction zones. Option B. You are responsible for the safety of the road workers. Option C. Slow down only if you think workers are present. The correct answer is Option B. You are responsible for the safety of the road workers. Question 8. If you always insist on letting other drivers go ahead of you at intersections, you are most likely Option A. Causing traffic delays Option B. Improving traffic flow Option C. Effectively using defensive driving techniques The correct answer is Option A. Causing traffic delays
Question 9. This sign means Option A. Detour ahead. Option B. Right turn permitted on green arrow only. Option C. Sharp turn to the right. The correct answer is Option C. Sharp turn to the right. Question 10. You should use your horn when Option A. Another vehicle is in your way. Option B. It may help prevent an accident. Option C. Another driver makes a mistake. The correct answer is Option B. It may help prevent an accident. Question 11. Animals may be transported in the back of a pickup truck only if Option A. The sides of the truck bed are at least 18 inches high. Option B. They are properly secured. Option C. The tailgate of the truck is closed. The correct answer is Option B. They are properly secured. Question 12. You are driving on a road with only one lane in each direction. You want to pass another vehicle, but there is a curve approaching which blocks your view of the road ahead. You must Option A. Not pass the other vehicle. Option B. Pass on the shoulder of the road. Option C. Signal longer than five seconds to pass. The correct answer is Option A. Not pass the other vehicle. Question 13. At dawn or dusk, or in rain or snow, it can be hard to see and be seen. A good way to let other drivers know you are there is to turn. Option A. Up the instrument panel lights. Option B. On your parking lights. Option C on your low beam lights. The correct answer is Option C on your low beam lights. Question 14 You want to make a right turn at the corner. A pedestrian with a guide dog is at the corner ready to cross the street in front of you. Before making your right turn, you should Option A Turn off your engine until the person crosses the street. Option B. Tell the pedestrian when to cross the street. Option C. Wait until the person crosses the street. The correct answer is Option C. Wait until the person crosses the street. Question 15. You may cross double yellow lines to pass another vehicle if the Option A Vehicle in front of you moves to the right to let you pass. Option B Yellow line next to your side of the road is broken. Option C Yellow line next to the other side of the road is broken. The correct answer is Option B Yellow line next to your side of the road is broken. Question 16. You are driving on a city street and see an emergency vehicle with flashing lights behind you. What should you do? Option A. Drive to the right edge of the road and slow down. Option B. Drive to the right edge of the road and stop. Option C. Stay in your lane, slow down, and let it pass. The correct answer is Option B. Drive to the right edge of the road and stop. Question 17. You should allow more space in front of your vehicle when following large trucks because Option A. You need extra room to see around the truck. Option B. 
the heavier weight allows them to stop more quickly than you. Option C. If you follow too closely, you will get caught in the wind draft caused by the truck. The correct answer is Option A. You need extra room to see around the truck. Question 18. Which of the following increases your chances of having an accident? Option A. Looking over your shoulder while making lane changes. Option B. Continually changing lanes to pass other vehicles. Option C. Adjusting your rear view mirror before you start driving. The correct answer is Option B. Continually changing lanes to pass other vehicles. Question 19. This sign means Option A. One lane road ahead. Option B. Merging lane ahead. Option C. Lane ends ahead. The correct answer is Option B. Merging lane ahead. Question 20. When changing lanes on a freeway, you should Option A. Signal for at least 5 seconds. Option B. Slow down before you start to change lanes. Option C. Assume there is enough space for your vehicle if you signal first. The correct answer is Option A. Signal for at least 5 seconds. Question 21. Which of the following will help you to avoid being hit from behind? Option A. Signaling at least 100 feet before turning. Option B. Decreasing your following distance. Option C. Changing lanes frequently. The correct answer is Option A. Signaling at least 100 feet before turning. Question 22. Large trucks turning right onto a street with two lanes in each direction. Option A. May complete their turn in either the left or right lane. Option B. Often have to use part of the left lane to complete the turn. Option C. Must stay in the right lane at all times. The correct answer is Option B. Often have to use part of the left lane to complete the turn. Question 23. When you park on a level road next to a curb, Option A. Your wheels must be within 18 inches of the curb. Option B. Your front wheels must be turned towards the side of the road. Option C. You do not have to set your parking brake. The correct answer is Option A. Your wheels must be within 18 inches of the curb. Question 24. At intersections, crosswalks, and railroad crossings, you should always Option A. Stop, listen, and proceed if you cannot hear anything. Option B. Look to the sides of your vehicle. Option C. Concentrate on oncoming traffic. The correct answer is Option B. Look to the sides of your vehicle. Question 25. Highways are typically more slippery. Option A. During a heavy rainstorm in the middle of summer. Option B. When it first starts to rain after a dry spell. Option C. After it has been raining for a long time. The correct answer is Option B. When it first starts to rain after a dry spell. Question 26. When planning to pass another vehicle, you should. 
Option A. Not assume they will make space for you to return to your lane. Option B. Assume they will let you pass if you use your turn signal. Option C. Assume they will maintain a constant speed. The correct answer is Option A. Not assume they will make space for you to return to your lane. Question 27. Which of these vehicles must stop before crossing railroad tracks? Option A. Tank trucks marked with hazardous materials placards. Option B. Motor homes or pickup trucks towing a trailer. Option C. Sport utility vehicles carrying four or more persons. The correct answer is Option A. Tank trucks marked with hazardous materials placards. Question 28. You are driving on a one way street. You may turn left onto another one way street. Option A. Only if a sign permits the turn. Option B. If traffic on the street is moving to the right. Option C. If traffic on the street is moving to the left. The correct answer is. Option C. If traffic on the street is moving to the left. Question 29. You want to turn left ahead. In the middle of the road there is the lane marked as shown. You must. Option A. Turn from your current traffic lane after signaling. Option B. Merge completely into this lane before you make your left turn. Option C. Not enter this lane for any reason. The correct answer is. Option B. Merge completely into this lane before you make your left turn. Question 30. You must notify DMV within five days if you Option A. Sell or transfer your vehicle. Option B. Paint your vehicle a different color. Option C. Are cited for a traffic violation. The correct answer is Option A. Sell or transfer your vehicle. Question 31. When making a right turn from a highway with two lanes in your direction, you may turn from Option A. The lane closest to the center of the road. Option B. The lane nearest the curb or edge of the roadway. Option C. Either lane, depending on oncoming traffic. The correct answer is Option B. The lane nearest the curb or edge of the roadway. Question 32. A pedestrian crossing at a corner has the right of way. Option A. Only at controlled intersections. Option B. Whether or not a crosswalk is marked. Option C. Only when a crosswalk is painted on the street. The correct answer is. Option B. Whether or not a crosswalk is marked. Question 33. This sign means. Option A. You should slow down and move to the right lane. Option B. Stay in the right lane if you're driving slower than other traffic. Option C. Slower traffic must exit on the right. The correct answer is. Option B. Stay in the right lane if you're driving slower than other traffic. Question 34. If you have trouble seeing other vehicles because of dust or smoke blowing across the roadway, you should drive slower and turn on your Option A. High beam headlights. Option B. Parking lights. 
Option C. Low beam headlights. The correct answer is Option C. Low beam headlights. Question 35. You must make a written report SR1 to DMV within 10 days if you Option A. Are in an accident that causes $1,000 in damage. Option B. Plan on being out of the state for more than 30 days. Option C. Refinance the remaining balance of your vehicle loan. The correct answer is Option A. Are in an accident that causes $1,000 in damage. Question 36. It is illegal for a person, 21 years of age or older, to drive with a blood alcohol concentration that is dash or more. Option A, one-tenth of one percent. Option B, eight-hundredths of one percent. Option C, five-hundredths of one percent. The correct answer is Option B, Eight hundredths of one percent. Question 37. If you are involved in a collision and no one is injured, you should Option A. Exchange information with the other party and leave the scene. Option B. Move your vehicle off the road if possible and call for assistance. Option C. Leave your vehicle in the traffic lane until the police arrive. The correct answer is Option B. Move your vehicle off the road if possible and call for assistance. Question 38. When a school bus is stopped with its red lights flashing, you must stop. Option A. If you are on a divided highway, Option B. Unless you are on the other side of a divided or multi-lane highway. Option C. Only if children are crossing the road. The correct answer is. Option B. Unless you are on the other side of a divided or multi-lane highway. Question 39. This below sign means. Option A. Traffic is permitted to pass on either side of an island or obstruction. Option B. Right lane stays to the right, left lane stays to the left. Option C. Keep to the left, merging traffic ahead. The correct answer is. Option A. Traffic is permitted to pass on either side of an island or obstruction. Question 40. A solid yellow line next to a broken yellow line means that vehicles. Option A. In both directions may pass. Option B. Next to the broken line may pass. Option C. Next to the solid line may pass. The correct answer is. Option B, next to the broken line, may pass. Question 41. What does the below red and white sign indicate? Option A, the road ahead is closed to traffic in all directions. Option B, yield the right of way. Option C, the road is closed to traffic in your direction. The correct answer is Option C. The road is closed to traffic in your direction. Question 42. A white painted curb means Option A. Loading zone for freight or passengers. Option B. Loading zone for passengers or mail only. Option C. Loading zone for freight only. 
The correct answer is Option B. Loading zone for passengers or mail only. Question 43. For which of the following traffic lights must you always stop your vehicle? Option A. Solid red lights, flashing red lights, and blacked out traffic signals. Option B. Solid red lights, red arrows, and flashing yellow lights. Option C. Solid red lights, flashing red lights, and yellow lights. The correct answer is Option A. Solid red lights, flashing red lights, and blacked out traffic signals. Question 44. This warning sign means Option A. Road is slippery when wet. Option B. Winding road ahead. Option C. Road with sharp turns ahead. The correct answer is Option A. Road is slippery when wet. Question 45. You want to back out of an angle parking space. You should always back slowly and Option A. Look at your rearview mirror. Option B. Have someone outside of the vehicle direct you. Option C. Look over your right shoulder. The correct answer is Option C. Look over your right shoulder. Question 46. This exit speed advisory sign means Option A. Slow down, maximum advised speed is 25 miles per hour in ideal conditions. Option B. Slow down, maximum advised speed is 25 miles per hour in all conditions. Option C. Minimum advised speed limit is 25 miles per hour in all conditions. The correct answer is Option A. Slow down, maximum advised speed is 25 miles per hour in ideal conditions. Thank you for practicing with us. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more practice videos to help you easily pass the DMV written test. Please visit our website www.dmw-permit-practice-test.com for more resources to help you prepare for the test.